My name is Mike or Kubera. Let's talk about Cloak Coin today because there was a lot of spam about this. Some people are getting super excited, and I actually invested in it. Not a lot, but there's something to it that actually made me want to look into it. So, without further ado, stay tuned. Let's do it. rude to talk with gum in your mouth so cloak coin what is going on let's take a look at it i was looking at bank of america there but uh bank of america most likely got a double charge because i was trying to buy something from amazon i got my camera my camera's on its way if if bank of america went through i wish it was so much easier that is retro music there we go this is what we're looking at i wish it was easier just with bitcoin you send from one wallet to the next there we go everything is fine everything works but you know that's still the future Ooh, okay so cloak coin it is at nine dollars and nine cents it is up 1859 percent well this was lately so let's um let's refresh it oh it fell down it fell below nine bucks it's at 751 but you know why it fell down two things one it's a pullback and that's for the coin itself but in general there's been a market pullback which if we refresh this i don't think there should be much changes because that was kind of recent yeah so bitcoin's down 5.43 percent is it gonna fall below four thousand dollars oh this is gonna get interesting folks so is it going to fall below four thousand dollars and it was where recently five thousand dollars it's gonna hit one dollar tomorrow now it's people are freaking out it's normal the market cap is falling towards $138 million while it was rising towards $200 million not long ago, like three or four days ago. We look through and, okay, where is Cloak Coin? There we go. It is number 80. So some information about Cloak Coin before we get into it. This was Gift Card Exchange, which they could seriously do. They could do a whole lot better. But if you are looking, by the way, Reddit is a fantastic place. If you are looking to spend your Bitcoin or PayPal or whatever on Amazon and you want to save a couple percent, you can go to gift card exchange or you can go to these websites. I wasted my time because I haven't used my profile in quite a long bit. Although I used to use it very often, but then they're thinking I'm trying to like screw people over for money now. No, I literally don't care about like 15 bucks. So I decided to buy the camera anyways, whatever, without the gift cards. But I'm just saying that's something cool for you guys. Uh, I did invest in Cloak Coin, so I guess, yay, I'm an investor now. Cloak Coin is basically, in summation, another, it's, it's similar to Monero, where technically it's better than Monero, where it's more secure. And the reason I invested in Cloak Coin is very simple. If you came from my other channel, Avi, you know what that's all about. It's, you know, it's all about privacy, anonymity, security going on to the deeper, darker, ooh, side of the internet. And Monero and some other coins on there were very, very, well, they weren't profitable, but people felt more secure, definitely more secure than Bitcoin. People used to feel secure with Bitcoin, but Bitcoin's not anonymous anymore. Well, I mean, technically it is, but it's easily traceable. So people don't feel safe and secure behind it. Cloak and Monero and other similar coins are slowly rising up. Monero, let's take a look at that. Where is it? It went up quite a bit over the past two and three months. Let's see, it's at 106 bucks right now. It is kind of falling, but as you guys can see, I mean, it used to be, last year was six bucks. Last year was six dollars, seven dollars, even all the way up until like the very last days of last year, it was below ten dollars and then it hit nearly a hundred forty dollars nearly one hundred forty dollars so it went up quite a bit and it was kind of fluctuating below 50 bucks here and this was in august still early august so over the past month it was growing quite a uh, quite a lot and that's because the security crowd decided oh you know what this is a great coin okay well it's it's good from the actual secure anonymity aspect maybe the developers aren't the best maybe the marketing isn't the best as with cloak coin uh the developers and everything seems fine and it's just the marketing with this it's technically working but there's a lot of spam the community has taken charge of cloak 
So for example, this is pretty much pumping. Let's get this to $100. Yeah, we're gonna become millionaires. Everything is gonna go up all the way. Listen, I actually was really turned off from a lot of the hype for this coin. The reason I got into it is because it was literally like $74, $73, or I forgot the amount I put in. I'm gonna forget about that for like the next year or two because I, I don't care. Again, the only reason I went into this is due to my background. I like secure anonymous coins, and the only reason I like them is because I think there's two main good things for them. One, for tax people who, you know, they, they don't wanna pay their taxes, and two, the darker part of the internet. So if, if a market, if an exchange starts with this coin, hey, it could rise, but that's it. Like, I don't care about the developer team. I don't care about their marketing. I don't care about anything else. That's why I invested and uh, uh, like whatever. Maybe it wasn't even the best time to invest recently, but I, I said, why not? Okay, it's on my radar, whatever. I don't care about that sunny bucks. But here's some of the specifications. There's about 4.5 million coins. It's not pre-mined and the POW time spans seven days. I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious what this is, the official update. Update, we're working to get the project open sourced as soon as possible, yeah. That's why probably there was a little bit of hype for it. I'm kind of curious, wait, 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 let's check out their social media. Ooh, that's nice, 17.2 thousand followers. They're, they're making good use of the follow for follow thing right there. But honestly, one of the things that happens with coins when there's too much spam, when people are emailing me and telling me, listen, when you send me a comment and you're like, yo, I've got insider information. No, no you don't. You're just pumping it up. And what's your bias behind that? Me currently, I, I, I guess you could say I have a little bit of bias making this video because I invested into it and yeah, so okay. And then also my background, so that's where I'm coming from. But really I just thought it would be an interesting topic to choose. My prediction for this, hopefully it goes up, but honestly that the main thing I'm looking at is Monero, even, even when it was here, like it was being used by markets and a lot of people were using it. But I think one of the triggers for it kind of going up was recently people started discovering that Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zcash, all of those Litecoins, like they're not secure. It provides an easy paper trail, I guess. It's a little bit more difficult. There's some hoops you have to go through, but overall it still is um, like a government agency government body the police they will be able to find out it's just going to take a little bit more time and resources but you know if you're a big enough if you're a big enough fish in the sea they will do everything possible to find you and they will link it all together because it's online it's on the blockchain it's right there with monero it's a little bit more difficult because you're not able to see the exact amounts and it's only from one person to another it's not exactly public information so that's what i kind of like about it but then again with monero itself okay so the coin's good but we don't know how the developers are okay so you know on the on the outside they look nice but then again we could say the same thing for a lot of cryptocurrencies out there. We don't know, it's spooky, maybe it's gonna crash, maybe it's all a scheme, ah, and you get too paranoid with that stuff. So one of the main reasons I think Cloak will go up in the future, in the long, long run, is it seems like the technology is good. But hopefully they improve their marketing. I would really like for coins to be able to follow a nice example where, yes, you wanna make as many videos as possible, as many posts as possible on Twitter and Instagram, on Facebook, on everything. Get some PPC campaigns going, get some signatures on Bitcoin talk, maybe slightly pay some spammers, slightly. I have some incentives, but try and go against it full, uh, try and go against it for the most part because it's just not gonna work. I, I didn't like how there was a bunch of topics on Steam it and people emailing me and just, it was way too hyped up, like no. Even if I had thousands of dollars just waiting to get invested into something, you know, this is a coin, just kind of due to that, I was like, okay, so this is cool, but I don't want to invest even a hundred dollars into this because it can go up and hopefully it does, you know, in the future, if there's a decentralized marketplace uh, on the darker side of the internet, dark side of the moon, but yeah, I don't know. I want more secure coins because there's a lot you could do with them. We want more security. We want more control with what's going on with our wallets. 
and we don't have to make we, we don't want the banks uh, you can't see the mouse on this screen recorder you don't want the banks I don't want to click that tab because I don't know if my credit card information is on there but no yeah people will steal that Woo! I just I don't know there's there's a lot of good things you could do and a lot of bad things you could do but hey at least you have the power to do whatever you want at that point so it's all up to you anyways my name is Mike Kubera what do you think about cloak coin what do you think about the team what do you think about spam let me know down in the comment section below do you think it was a horrible investment of $75 by the way I know there was better things to invest in but again I'm biased I'm biased because I think, I think, okay, maybe it's not going to be another Monero, but hey, it'd be cool. It'd be cool to double my money over like a couple years. It's only 75. Like, it's going to be one of those things, kind of like how last year I had an affiliate link on three videos for a, a supplement, and I forgot about it. Totally forgot. And then one day I get like a $50 paycheck in PayPal. I'm like, what? Cool. And then I, um, the next month I get another like $60 paycheck or something. And then I get an email. They're like, yo, hey, doing kind of cool. Like, wh where are you posting the links? I was like, what links? I totally forgot about it. it. But it was one of those things. I was like, okay, well, there's another 50 bucks. I can spend it on ice cream now. Yay. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow or later today because I've been pumping out those videos. Ooh. Did you hear? You probably didn't hear that, but that was a nice car that just passed. I.